Today's your lucky day. Today we're testing the brand new Pelican Catch High Drive HD2. This is version 2. Guys, we had this model in our garage for a long time from iCAS, but we couldn't make a video because it wasn't officially out yet. But today, today we can. So today you're gonna see how this boat performs on the water. We're gonna be doing our speed testers, going through the grass, and also also we're gonna paddle it because we want to make sure that we cover everything about this boat underwater now this is just one of the videos there's gonna be more videos link somewhere around here check the description always check the description of all my videos so you don't miss anything for real like dude you don't want to miss anything hey <laughs> that was perfect wasn't it? That was perfect. So I think we have enough room right here to deploy the Pelican H2 drive. Okay, lock it down. Good to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the grass test. Let's go over the grass right here. More like the lily pads. Keep going through the grass. It's gonna get rough right here. Trunks and things. Uh, you hear that? Still going. Wow, it's a lot of work, but you're still going. Nice, let's see if there's any damage to it. Little bit of grass stock in there. Not a lot. Let's put it back. You know when life gives you lemon? You make lemonade, dude. That's what you do. I forgot to bring this. It's our track mount. They go in here from Road Plaza. I use my camera mount, my fish finder is connected to one of those, and I forgot to bring them. <laughs> I always forget something when I'm doing videos or whatever. Whatever I'm doing on the water, I always forget to bring something. So what did I do? Luckily, this Pelican Kaya has a lovely open deck design with bungees up front. Look at that. It's perfect. It's right there. You could actually see it. You can see the fish finder right there in front of you. I mean, actually, that may be the best position for a fish finder. And we got a battery inside that bag over there. That is the Amp Outdoors lithium battery. Super high awesomeness. What am I saying? <laughs> Super awesome battery. It powers my fish finder for hours. And it's not that expensive. I'm going to link it down below if you want to know more about my lithium battery. Go check it out that's gonna be an affiliate link when you buy it through that link we get a commission here in this channel it allow us to make more videos like this you know because unfortunately you need money to make videos it's just the truth we did the uh the, the grass test now let's go ahead and do the our speed test but before we do that let's go ahead and do a turn right here see how it turns Wow, that's pretty good. I still feel like it's not as sharp as the Outback or the Slayer. Max 12.5, but it's still, it's super sharp. I feel like I need to tie this up a little bit. Position the cranks where I want them to be. Guys, rule number one of anything, make sure you're comfortable. When you get on a boat like this, find what is comfort for you. Set it up so you don't have any issues. So I'm gonna have to go easy. Like this, it's one mile an hour, 1.5, 1.7, 1.8, two miles an hour. This is easy going. Look at my my feet right here. I'm gonna have to use it on the other side because I had to control the boat. 2.6, like I'm not even doing anything. 2.6, we hit briefly. Now let's put a little bit more juice, see what happens. 3.5. 
three miles an hour this is giving a little bit more juice three miles an hour 3.2 should we crush that doggy That was fun. I wasn't gonna hit it. All right, so let's go ahead and do moderate aggressive speed, see what we get. These are like, maybe you won't be able to maintain this for a long time, but at least you get some, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 10 minutes where you could go aggressively. 3.7, 3.6, Four miles an hour it's pretty good i don't think i'll come maintain this for a long time though i'm just gonna turn over here and then we're gonna go really fast to see what is the maximum speed that we get here it's a sharp turn We're just going in reverse, guys. We're just going in reverse. It didn't take long. Let's say I want to go forward. Hmm. Look, if you practice enough, that switch doesn't take too long to do it. So you have reverse. I mean, with the hobby thing, you have to like pull a cord, right? So it's not as instant. With the 360, you still have to turn the dial and go in reverse. And uh, with the, the, I think the best one are the propels because you just go in reverse with your feet and you don't have to do anything. But here is, you could take it out. That drive comes out super easy and you could plug it in just as easy. It takes like, ready to go. You have reverse. <laughs> gonna get super tired right now because I'm gonna hit it hard. Hard. See what happens. Oh, the seat, the seat, the seat. Four point two, four point five, four point seven, four point eight, four point nine. I think we hit a limit. Four point nine miles an hour. Yeah, you may ask, do do long stroke. Long strokes are not for like speed, they're for like maintaining going in a space. If you want to hit like the highest speed, your stroke should be really, really short. There is no way that you can make them. Let's see. Long stroke, 4.7. You didn't get the highest speed with long stroke. Wow, 4.9 maximal, super easy, two and a half, moderate, four miles an hour. Next thing I want to do is I want to paddle it, see how that works. Okay, so we're using the new Pelican Catch D Catch 2 paddle. This is a fiberglass paddle, really light for being a fiberglass paddle, I might add, probably lighter than many carbon fiber paddles. Only thing I don't like so far is like there's a little bit of play here. I wish it was it was less. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so let me get to the area where there's no wind. I'm not gonna take the drive out because if I do, water just gonna come in through there. It's gonna be a mess. So I'm not gonna do that. Plus, I noticed that the drive being out doesn't really take away much from the paddling or adding a motor I just go easy two point nine two point eight three point one easy paddling let's go moderate three point six three point five Let's hit it. Four miles an hour, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.17, 4.18, 4
4.5 miles an hour not bad at all not bad at all it's a 10 footer so it's not gonna be the fastest boat in the fleet uh, maximum speed was 4.9 going really fast like nobody can maintain that that's like for a second but you could easily go super easy speeds like super easy workout just going like this two and a half to three miles an hour which is super amazing you could keep that going for hours and hours and hours I'm really liking the brand new HD two drives. They're better built, they're stronger, and you shouldn't have any of the problems that you had with the first one. Many of you had those issues, others didn't. I didn't have any issues, but I know people that did. I bet Pelican's super sorry for that, but they fixed all the stuff with the new drive. Pretty awesome stuff. And the best part is that Pelican stands behind their products. They have super cool warranty, and they're super nice people. So if you have a problem, reach out to them, they'll help you out. Now, let's put the hobby drive on this thing. Let's see what kind of speeds we get.